guys, welcome back. Today we've got a DIY Dollar Tree candle holder. I'm going to be making a set of two and for that you'll need seven boxes of these little candle holders. There's two in a box so that's a total of 14 pieces I'm going to be using as well as two of these other candle holders for the tops. Then we're going to use some E6000 or whatever glue you prefer that can glue glass together. Starting by placing one face down to give it a wider base and then gluing them so they are top to top and bottom to bottom like you see I'm doing here. I glued sets of two pieces together and let them dry and then the next day came back and take those sets and glue them together. And you could totally choose to leave yours clear glass. I decided to spray paint mine. Now for the top part, I wanted to give them a good cleaning and then to make them a little more unique and interesting, I decided to use some painter's tape and tape off two wide bands that I wanted to stay clear. And I'm leaving a little strip in the middle that I want to make gold as well. I don't want the spray paint to mess up the inside of the glass I just shove some paper towels in there and seal off the inside of the top edge neatly with the painters tape so the paint is only going to be on the top and outside of the glass and not on the inside of it at all Now we can go ahead and spray paint that worry free. I'm using the foil metallic copper spray paint by Krylon. Alright, so once it's dry, we're ready to carefully peel off the tape and remove the paper towel from the inside. I forgot to show you, but at this point I also used my E6000 to attach these to the tops of the stands that we made. Then I found these pretty white candle balls in Dollar Tree and I'm going to be snipping off the end of the wick to about a quarter inch because I've always heard candles burn a lot more slowly and evenly if you do that. I was going to make a third one of these because I think they would look really cool as a trio as well with three different heights. However, these two are working perfectly fine just the way they are and look really great on this shelf. I did these in a copper color, but they actually fit in really well with the black, brown, and gold in this room, both during the day and even at night. Well, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!